This is my 2004 Harley Davidson Softail Heritage Classic, and let me show you around. One of my favorite things is the sound. Cover your ears. So it does have upgraded pipes and they sound immaculate. I couldn't ask for any better. They're just loud and aggressive and oh, they sound so good rolling down the street. And another thing I added here was this dipstick. So it's got a little temperature gauge on it. It looks better. The old one was like a just a little orange Harley Davidson thing. And now I can see the temperature of my oil. So that's helpful. It's got a bigger cool air intake than stock. So it's not the stock one, it's bigger, but more air, better power. I also find myself liking this just very simple gauge cluster more than just like a bunch of screens and everything. I, it's just simple. Everything you need to know, just your miles per hour, that's it. And then it's just got lights and different stuff. But what more do you need? It's perfect. One thing I love is this front end. Look at that. I love the triple light setup. It just looks good with this fender. It's just a beautiful looking bike. Look at this. I think I'm gonna like turn, I've seen people turn these things into chrome, these buttons and some of these controls. I might chrome it out a little bit more. One thing I don't like though is that this does not work. It just shows one. I looked up how to fix it and apparently you just gotta go in there, look at the wires. It could be a bad sending unit. There's a couple things it could be, but that's the only issue really with the bike. Other than that, it's a really nice bike. So the seat is pretty comfortable, but it's got like a little bounce to it. I mean, it's, it's a nice seat. I'm gonna keep it for a little while, but future I might replace it. So we'll see, seat might go. Again, controls up here might go. And again, this front end just looks so nice. Just a beautiful looking bike overall. I'm very happy I purchased it. And I, after selling my Honda Rebel 500, um, I only paid 500 extra dollars for this, $500 more than the Honda was. So overall, I think this was a good purchase. Nice saddle bags. Like it, it's everything I need it to be. I'm gonna do some road trips and stuff in the next couple days. I'm going up to Cave Creek for a little event that's going on up there. So that's gonna be a ton of fun. Like, it's just really good at everything. I was looking at the Road King originally, and I was like, you know, the Road King's nice. My grandpa had one. He used to ride one all the time. Like, should be good. I sat on the Road King, and that is a 900-pound beast. I'm, I'm not a huge person, so I couldn't really fit that well and hold it up that well. And then this, it was kind of the step down, like the more chilled out version. I think this weighs 600 and something pounds, so that's not bad. Maybe, maybe it's in the 700s, I don't know. But it's just, it's a smaller bike, lighter bike. I like it a little bit better. Easier to nimble and move around town. Passenger seat's kind of cool. I was debating on leaving this. I mean, if you have a passenger, it's nice. But I don't know if it's my favorite look. I'm still deciding. It's, it's, the bike is growing on me. And really the, some of the only issues is this. The gas gauge and yeah. I can go down here and he, there's some new cables and stuff he gave me, some new spark plugs I could put in, but it doesn't really need anything. It is the 88 cubic inch motor with the five speed transmission. So there is an upgrade, the 96 with the six speed transmission, but I wrote this and I'm like, really what more do I need? So I know I need to replace a uh, spring tensioner in the engine. It's a big flaw in these 88 cubic inch motors. It's gonna cost probably upwards of 500 bucks, but that's really the only thing. And then this bike is, I mean, there's not much to this bike. It's not like crazy electronics that could fail all the time. Like it's nothing crazy. That's what I like about it. It's just simple, reliable. The guy at the Harley dealer told me to just ride it coast to coast till it dies. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I got some extra parts. So these are some extra handlebars, but these bars are more than good for me. So as you can see, they'd be a little bit taller than my, ooh, I just put my foot up against that. Good thing I have jeans on. Uh, but it, they would be quite a bit taller than the other one. And I'm not an ape hangers kind of person. So we are not putting that on. And then I also have this um, 
it's like highway pegs and also an engine guard. So if the bike ever fell, I, it didn't come on. I might put it on. I'm still indecisive. I'm going on a, uh, going to up to Cave Creek in a couple days on it. So I'm going to see if I kind of want to put them on or what I want to do, but that is an option. And then also we got some braided cables and some other grips and just a bunch of stuff he gave me. Uh, front wheel bearings, spark plugs. Like he had a bunch of stuff for this. And uh, I, so I really appreciate him giving me all this. There's, I forgot what that was. Extra pipes, there's oil pans, there's an oil change kit. So a couple cool things about this bike. It only has 13,000 miles on it. Can't you believe that? That's crazy. The dealership said it literally wasn't even broken in yet, and it's a 2004. The guy before me said the guy before him just put it in his garage and left it there, and then the guy before me wanted to turn it into a really nice bike that he just rode like every once in a while, and he didn't end up riding it. He needed a truck for his daughter, so I came through and bought it, and I'm very happy with this purchase. And I cannot wait to do some fun trips and spec this bike out to how I like it. I'm really excited. But hear the sound of this. This thing sounds amazing. It's hard to tell because there's a lot of wind noise in this clip, but you could get a gist of it. And the camera makes it sound like a purring kitten, but it's not. This thing is very loud. I, I might have to put a mic next to the exhaust next time just to get the true sound of it. Like, isn't that crazy? I mean, you, it's it's hard to hear. I'm not going to lie. It is hard to hear on here, but that's fine. Yeah, and it just does everything right. Like, this thing is just a blast to ride, and it's a ton of fun. I don't think I'm going to put the bigger handlebars on, because as you can see, I mean, my arms are already kind of up there. I need to do a trip with it, and then I need to go through and adjust the things that I want to change. But I think I need some time on the bike first before I just go changing all willy-nilly. And yeah, this bike's a ton of fun.